My name is Steve Hansen with Sukup Manufacturing Company. And welcome back to our dryer service video series. Today's topic will be the parts of our PLC, our programmable logic controller, and what the lights mean. So this is a picture of our PLC, which is the four slices on the left side, and the attached structure or IO structure or bus structure that we'll refer to in the future. So let's just start out with the PLC itself. Um, this is a small module. It consists of a power slice and we're going to supply 24 volts DC and the DC common to that power slice. Then as we proceed on, the next slice is the digital output slice and we're going to use those digital outputs. Digital is on or off, so we're going to use that to turn on something, generally a motor or a heater. The next two parts of the PLC are digital inputs and those are going to be 24 volts fed to those inputs and those are generally going to be safety circuits or confirmation circuits. And the confirmation circuit is just a, con a confirmation that a fan or a heater turned on for instance. So this PLC stores the program and if you had a small machine you could have turn you could turn things on with your digital output and you could monitor things with digital inputs. The advantage of this PLC is that it's expandable. So as we proceed on down to the right, you can see that we have attached input-output structure. The blue cards, or slices, or modules, are all digital inputs. So as if we started at the PLC itself, we have digital input one, digital input two, and then they just keep counting up as we add input-output structure. Likewise, the PLC has a digital output to turn on motors and heaters, for instance. As we add more motors and heaters, fans, we just add additional digital outputs. Then as we proceed on, we also have some analogs, analog slices or cards. The green ones are analog inputs. So once again, those are values that are changing. So the changing values we're going to be monitoring or wanting inputs are, are temperature and moisture values. For instance, we'll be monitoring the plenum temperature that you set for your dryer. We'll also be monitoring the discharge grain temperature, for instance, and we'll be monitoring the moisture value. Once again, we just keep adding those as we need those inputs. Then on the far right, we have our analog output. Those basically are going to be two things that we're going to control with that. One is the electronic mod valve to control your plenum temperature. We're going to give it more or less gas to maintain your set temperature. And we're also going to vary the unload speed to control the drying process. So we're going to send an analog signal to your meter roll motor to vary the discharge rate. So as you can see, we just add input output structure as needed. And just remember, digital inputs, safety circuits, confirmation circuits, digital outputs, we're turning on fans and heaters or unload motors, for instance. Analog inputs, we're monitoring temperature and moisture values. And then our analog outputs are going to be used to control that temperature or the discharge rate to get your proper drying. Now we're going to look at just some other items on the PLC and some of the lights. So as you see on the left, we have an Ethernet cord, and that is going to be used for your touchscreen to communicate to the PLC. There's going to be some lights at that port that you'll be interested in on future videos. And there's a green link light that means that the Ethernet cable is connected on both ends. And then there's an orange blinking light that is an activity light, and that simply indicates that we've got communication happening between the touchscreen and the PLC. Other lights that we're going to be interested in are on the input-output structure itself, and as you can see here on this digital input on the PLC itself, there's a pattern of four lights. Those lights correspond with the circuits below. So the top left corresponds to that circuit, bottom left to that circuit, top right, bottom right, corresponding circuits. Those same indicator lights are on the 
rest of your attached structure. They just happen to be in a staggered pattern, but the corresponding light corresponds to those circuits. So if the light is on on a digital input, that means we have our 24 volt signal coming back to those. If it's not, we don't have that signal there. Likewise, on the output slices, if the light is lit up, we are sending an output 24 volts out on those corresponding circuits. The other lights we're interested in on the PLC, the top right of our first power slice is an FR light. In the little tiny letters, it says FR on there. And just remember that that light has to do with the program. So as, that, as long as that light is on and solid, it means there's a program on the PLC and that program's running. The next light we're kind of interested in is the ready light. And that ready light has to do with the bus structure, which remember is the PLC and everything attached to it. So as long as the bus structure is good, that ready light should be lit solid also. Other lights we're interested on the PLC are diagnostic lights. And you'll see that at the top of some of these modules or slices. We're going to use those only if you have trouble with your PLC, in which case they will be blinking and we will cover that in a future video. But just for your information, we, every one of these doesn't have a diagnostic light. It has a light for every module or individual slice. If we know we're going to have 16 digital inputs, for instance, we can buy a module that has four digital input slices. So that module has a diagnostic light. Likewise, the next one, we have a four wide slice and it has a, di a diagnostic light at the top. Then as we add additional cards, if we don't need a full four, we add individual cards and you'll see a diagnostic light at the top of each of those. So proceeding on down, there is a diagnostic light on all the remaining cards. Remember, this video and more can be found at our website, www.sukup.com or our YouTube channel, Sukup MFG.